Welcome to our channel, where we explore valuable investment strategies and provide insights into the world of stock market investing. In today's video, we'll delve into the Rule of 10, a powerful principle that can guide you in making informed investment decisions. Hello, investors! I'm thrilled to share with you the Rule of 10, a simple yet effective concept that can help you assess the potential profitability of stocks. Let's dive right in. The Rule of 10 considers three key factors, the growth rate, return on equity, RO, and price to earnings, PE, ratio. These metrics provide valuable insights into the attractiveness of a stock. First, let's talk about the growth rate. It measures how fast a company's earnings are expanding. Look for companies with consistent and sustainable growth rates, as they have the potential to generate higher returns. However, be cautious of inflated growth rates that may not be sustainable in the long term. Next up is the return on equity, RO. This metric tells us how effectively a company generates profits from shareholders' equity. A higher row generally indicates a well-managed company with efficient capital allocation. So, aim for companies with strong row figures. Lastly, we have the price to earnings, P.E., ratio. This ratio compares a company's stock price to its earnings per share, EPS. It helps us determine whether a stock is overvalued or undervalued. A lower P.E. ratio suggests an undervalued stock, while a higher P.E. ratio may indicate an overvalued one. However, always consider the P.E. ratio within the context of the industry and the company's growth prospects. Now, here comes the interesting part, applying the rule of 10. To apply the rule of 10, add the growth rate and the row. The sum of these two factors should be equal to or greater than 10. Additionally, the P-E ratio should be less than 10. For example, if a company has a growth rate of 6% and an row of 8%, the P-E ratio should be less than 10 minus the sum of these figures, 10 to 14 equals minus 4. A negative P.E. ratio suggests that the stock may be undervalued, making it potentially attractive for investment. However, it's essential to note that the rule of 10 has its limitations. It doesn't consider factors like industry dynamics, competitive landscape, debt levels, or macroeconomic conditions. Therefore, conduct thorough research and analysis beyond the rule of 10 before making investment decisions. To sum it up, the rule of 10 provides a simplified framework for evaluating stocks' potential profitability. Remember to combine it with comprehensive research, analysis, and professional advice. Investing in the stock market always carries risks, and it's crucial to exercise due diligence. That's all for today's video. I hope you found the Rule of 10 insightful and valuable for your investment journey. 
Stay tuned for more investment tips and strategies. Happy investing! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content. Thanks for watching.